Hi there, I'm Jennifer Marshall with Red Carpet Report, and we're at the Beverly Hilton for the third annual Casa LA Gala. So I'd like to ask you about Casa LA, and yeah. when you first uh, got to know about the organization, and what it means personally for you to be here tonight. I actually, it's interesting that I was asked to be here because when I had my son six years ago, it opened up an interest to me in um, the foster system in California, and I found this organization on my own and was interested in becoming one of the court-appointed advocates and realized I didn't have the time with my career and the, the requirements for actually being here to um, you know, dedicate the time needed. But it was something that really interested me and I was so excited about what they were doing. They were really making a difference in the lives of kids that otherwise had nobody to advocate for them. So you would say that once you had your son, it kind of honed in that, you know, maybe not every child has the type of mother that I am? Yeah, I think it, I don't, I don't know about that. I hope I'm a good mom, but it, it really made me see how much love and care every single person needs. And each one of us had a mother and a father or some, par, par, some parental figures who nurtured them and loved them and how important that is to everybody. And for children who don't have that, what as a group, it's our responsibility to find that for them. It's a basic thing that human beings, it's the most basic element of humanity. So. Yeah. That, that, that's such an eloquent quote. I really, um, I really identify with that. So what would you say to somebody at home who says, you know, I do want to volunteer, but I don't know if I'm good enough. I don't know if I have enough to offer. I don't know. I mean, I felt that way because I didn't, I literally didn't have the time commitment needed. But um, I would say try, if it interests you, that means that there's something that's speaking to you about, about human love and try and find how powerful that feeling is, is in you to inspire you to do this. I mean, I, I would love to be one of these advocates. I am so in awe of what they're doing. I think it's so amazing. And if anyone is interested in it, I would so encourage them to find a way. It's I, so just, I think it's so great when, when actors and actresses come to these events because because of your social media poll and, and, and how recognizable you are. Oh, I should tweet about it. I forgot to do all these things. Yes. Tweets, definitely. I just feel like you're in such a unique position to kind of bring this to light to people who may not know about the program. Right. I know. I mean, like, I wouldn't know about it unless... I had done some sort of weird Googling on my own one night, um, <laughs> inspired by, by this idea. Um, yeah, so it is, if people know about these things, then uh, you can't help but think it's amazing. And then the more people that we have who are able to be a part of this organization, imagine what you could do for the lives of all these children in California who have, have nobody looking after them. So before you leave, I would love to talk to you about any projects you may have in the works. Oh, God, you know what? I honestly, I was filming in Las Vegas this morning. I just got off a plane. Wow. I'm, yeah, I'm doing a movie that I'm really excited about with Jim O'Hare from Parks and Rec called Middlemen. It's sort of a dark comedy. Um, so I'm in the middle of filming that. It's my, I'm all consumed with it. It's really exciting. So look for that. Well, I think it says a lot about your character that you were in Vegas filming and you flew back and you're here tonight when most people would be on their couch at home resting. Maybe. Also, I mean, like, I don't know, it, like you said, being a part of something this important makes you feel good yourself. So, yeah. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you inside. Okay, thank you. Hey, guys, it's been a blast. I'm Jennifer Marshall. Hit like, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your favorite nonprofit or charity. See you soon.